morning everybody and welcome to the blog hop I'm glad you're here today my project with the so much happy paper pack from close to my heart is we're gonna make this cute little card we're gonna use some texture paste I cut a stencil with um, our stencil kit and let me show you that it's this um, matte stencil film and you can get it from close to my heart <coughs> So I cut this little stencil with um, an overlay from the Close to My Heart art booking cartridge um, with my Cricut Maker, but you could do it with any of the Cricut machines if you have that cartridge. So to start, because we want the texture paste to dry first, we're gonna go ahead and start with that. So I'm gonna move these other supplies out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I did is I cut some white cardstock and since our card bases are um, lost over here, but they're three and a quarter, nope, they are four and a quarter by five and a half. So I've cut this yellow piece here. I've cut one here that we're gonna use at three and a quarter by five. And then I cut a white piece of cardstock at three and a quarter by four and a half so that takes it down a half of an inch each time so this is what we're going to do the stencil on so to do the stencil we're using our texture paste and opaque mat um, also from close to my heart and you're going to want to have this all-purpose mat because i'm just going to mix it right on there so i'm going to just scoop some out you don't need a whole lot just to get right on my mat <clears throat> you're going to want to have um like a little wet rag or a way to clean your tools. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting a cold. Um, when you're done with this, because it will dry and it's kind of harder to get off when it's wet. And then I'm going to use our lemon reinker. I'm just going to put a couple of drops into that texture paste. <coughs> and just mix it in. Hopefully you can see that. And mix it all around, get a nice yellow color in there. You can make yours lighter or darker, it just depends on how much paste and how much ink you have. I put two drops on mine. So then, because I cut my stencil the same size, I should have actually cut it a little bit larger and then I could have um, use some washi tape and held it down. But it's okay, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put some of this on my, my little stencil tool that comes in the stencil kit, by the way. I'm gonna start towards the middle and work my way out, and you're just gonna smear it on. Covering it all, and it's gonna fill in those holes. You don't want it too goopy, <clears throat> so scrape it as you go. Make sure you get in each crevice. This texture paste is a really fun um, way to add dimension and texture to your, your cards and your scrapbook pages. I've been really happy with it so far. And then I'm gonna just kinda of try to hold off in the corner over here where I started and complete this side over here. And it looks like I have everything filled, so I'm gonna just scrape this off and wipe it down. Just got a wet rag here. I'm just gonna put the excess on here. And then I'm going to take my tweezers that are somewhere in this mess and pick it up. And peel my stencil off of my piece of cardstock. And 
I want to set that off to the side to dry. And while that's doing that, I'm going to wipe my all-purpose mat and my stencil. I can reuse this stencil over and over and over. So once you cut them, don't throw it away. <coughs> Set that off to the side. Wipe this down a little bit. So while my mat or my, um, my stencil here is drying, I'm gonna just set it off to the side and we're gonna work on the other parts of that of the card. So to do that, we're gonna need the card base. Just gonna fold that in half, make sure this is dry. And I'm going to put my yellow piece of paper from this So Much Happy pack and I'm going to stick it down on my card front. And I'm gonna set that aside. <coughs> then using, I just dropped my paper. Oh well, we'll cut another one. Then using just some extra cardstock in the white. We're gonna take our sapphire ink and using the stamp set for the Choose to Shine card kit. Um, let me show it to you. It's got these cute little, it says shine, just a note to brighten your day and chase the clouds away. We have some grass, we have some clouds. I'm using the words and the clouds. So here's my cloud and I'm just gonna stamp it in the sapphire. And because I'm on my all purpose mat and not my, um, my other close to my heart mat, I'm gonna stick this little foam underneath here. And I'm just going to stamp a cloud. We're gonna fussy cut around these. And I like this look where I didn't get it even. So if you don't, you can fix your stamp. I don't know if you can see it. I have some air bubbles in there. I like that look. Gives it more of a homemade look to me. And I didn't get it on that one. So perfect, they're not the same. <clears throat> and then on our little piece of white cardstock that we cut earlier, we're going to stamp the words. Um, just a note to brighten your day and chase the clouds away. If you are in the weather conditions like we are here in Reno, this cloud will br help brighten someone's day. We've had horrible weather. It'll go from beautiful sunny to snow. It's just been crazy. So I'm just gonna center that on here. And I found the piece I dropped. <coughs> so I'm just going to stick that on the yellow. Now coming back to this, oh my gosh, I can't quit dropping things. Now you'll see on my original card here, I've got some um, ribbon wrapped around. And that ribbon comes in the card kit, but if you don't buy, let me close my ink. The card kit, you can buy it separate as well. It's just the white and gold ribbon from Close to My Heart. <coughs> and so what I do, because I don't tie bows, I've got nails, it doesn't work for me. So I'm gonna just stick carefully because I don't want to um, mess up my embossing on the front. 
I'm just gonna put some adhesive on the back and stick that on there. Trying not to push too hard. And then I'm going to wrap it carefully around my card or this piece of paper. And I wanna kinda of overlap it so you can see that there's two. And then just cut it off. And that will hold that in place while we work on the rest of the card. Okay. <coughs> and now to our cards, our clouds. Guys, I am on so much cold medicine right now, I can't even hardly stand here. I'm gonna cut these out just roughly, and then we're gonna fussy cut around them. Using our micro tip scissors. And I know fussy cut can be kind of kind of a pain and a lot of people don't like it, but it gives it such a good look, I think. I don't particularly care for it when I'm doing it, but I really enjoy the look it has when you're done. So there's one. Got a little wide. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to use our puffy tape. It comes in rolls. Um, I'm going to use up this one. And I'm just going to put some puffy tape on the back of this cloud. ink all over me and look at that got that one off maybe one more piece oh good this one is gone in the center <clears throat> you know what this is the end of a roll and it's not sticking very well so we're just gonna get rid of those I think it's been sitting there for a while. Try again with the new. Yeah, this is better. And peel the backs off. And I'm just going to place that up here on my card. And you can go over because when you put it here, it's going to be up there. So we can actually put that down. so that we'll have our exact card front. So now I'm gonna put this just a little bit higher. <coughs> and then on this one, I don't wanna put puffy where this is gonna overlap because then that's gonna make it just be wonky and not sit straight. So I'm going to put some puffy tape 
in the bottom corner because that's not going to be on top of the other cloud. And then just on this edge right here. Someone's home, my dogs are crying. And then we're gonna take our words and I'm just gonna put some puffy on those as well. Can you hear my dog? He's going crazy. And I'm going to put this, I, I kind of had it up here, maybe down here. I'm going to put that right here. So it's a little bit different than the one I did before. I got some blue ink on it. Darn it. So there is a fun little card using the texture paste and the, um, I can't remember the name of this paper pack. So much happy paper pack. And I will put links to everything I used down in the blog post. And be sure and hop on over to the next blog if you haven't been there yet. There's a link for that as well. And thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.